I had a high school teacher that would always say, never be afraid to take a test. Because a test is your opportunity to show off. To show what you know. This is your shot. And all the hard work that you did, everything, the pre-tests, the study groups, that prepared you for this moment. So never be afraid to take a test. But despite that, what is the most fearful thing for a student to hear? The teacher walks in and says, pop quiz. Well, today we're having a pop quiz. I need everybody to stand up. I need you to ask one question. If you are a bully, if you enjoy terrorizing somebody else, please stay standing and everybody else sit down. Now look around the room. Now those who stood standing, I don't agree with what you do, but I appreciate your honesty. You're very brave. And for those who sat down, look around. Do you see the person that bullies you also sitting down? Now there's only two reasons why somebody would sit down. One, they don't think they're a bully. They're picked on, and they inadvertently put that anger off onto you. Or more likely, the second reason, they're ashamed. They are not brave enough to stand up, admit what they do, and who they are. And that proves, in this exact moment, that you are the majority. You have so much more power than a couple bullies that sit in this room. Remember that you have the power. And to the couple who did stay standing, you have the physical presence required to make a change. Again, I don't agree with what you do, but you have so much impact at this school that you can really make a difference. Please sit down. Now, why did we do that? That little lesson will teach you that we can end bullying at this school. And it's much more important than what you go through today because bullying lasts a lifetime. The person who's bullied carries it with them through college, through adulthood, and it needs to stop now. So why am I here? I'm looking for the heroes. I'm going to call them dogs. Because the dog is willing to confront the wolf and the dog can protect the sheep because we all know that schools are littered with the wolves and the sheep and the wolves prey on the sheep without mercy it's not fair and the sheep they can do something about it too again they are the majority they have power but they need a couple dogs that have the capacity for violence, but the honor to always protect the sheep. They'll never harm the sheep. Again, that's why I'm here. I'm looking for the heroes, the dogs who can step up. And you know what makes the best dog? A reformed wolf. Somebody who still has that presence and that power, the brutality needed to confront a wolf, but reformed enough to never harm a fellow classmate. And the second best dog is a sheep who finally says, I'm fed up. I'm not going to stand for it anymore. I'm standing up for myself and I'm protecting my five friends. That's what I'm looking for. Heroes. Dogs. Now, I gotta take you back to sixth grade. Now, that was a moment where I had to buy my first love. I had to do it. So I looked through the classifieds. I saved up a hundred dollars 
so I could go buy a dog. I went to my parents, I said, I have a plan. A hundred dollars, this classified ad says, male chihuahuas, a hundred dollars, can I go get this dog? And being parents, they said, you know, this is a big responsibility. Are you sure you're up for this? I never wanted anything more. So they agreed, and we went to that breeder's house. Chihuahua. Nobody wanted a Chihuahua in 1990. This was before Yo Quiero Taco Bell. This was before Paris Hilton and the Purse. Nobody wanted a Chihuahua. Chihuahuas were cheap. So I go there, and we find the last remaining male swoop down, pick him up. He was Simba in The Lion King. This was my moment. This was my dog. We name him Cheech. And I still remember. My dad was sitting there filming going, Matt, what do you think of your new dog? And in my little 11 year old voice I said, Dad, he's the best dog ever. He's the best dog in the whole world. That dog, there were times, and I'm sure you have a family dog, or you've had a family dog, and there were times where that dog was your only friend. He was never critical. He only, he just wanted to love you. That was his goal in life, was just to be there whenever you needed him. That dog. Loyal. Strong willing to sacrifice everything. That's the kind of people we need to be. We can learn a lot from dogs. That's what we need to become.